today we're going to continue our look at uh, City Hall and talking about what potential options should be included as we move forward in part of the planning process. And today we're really going to focus on emergency preparedness options and, and all that that entails. As the coastal community, we are subject to numerous natural disasters or major events, uh, anything from the 2007 hurricane force winds that isolated us for over a week here in the community to a tornado that ripped down the center of Manzanita in 2016, uh, to potential fires, uh, given the season that we're having right now, the ability to protect ourselves from, from fires, as well as the risk of earthquake and tsunami. One of the, one of the truisms uh, on the coast is that you gotta prepare yourself. And our community uh, is recognized statewide as having stepped up to become personally prepared. We are aware that after a major event, we may be isolated for days or even weeks and potentially uh, we'll have no resources but the resources that we have locally. So we as a community have stepped up to learn skills and to get training and to seek supplies that will help us survive a disaster. And I think the community deserves kudos for doing that. We know even under the best of circumstances, the city's resources are limited. So what we're gonna be talking today is what, about is what is the city's role and how does that impact our decision as we plan for a new city hall? What is the city's role in response and recovery? What resources does the city need to have to respond? Even more importantly, what resources does the city need to have to support the community in a long-term disaster? What is Nahalem Bay Fire and Rescue District's role in Manzanita in response to a disaster? We have two very distinguished leaders here to talk to us today about the differences between response function for say something like the EOC, Emergency Operations Center, and recovery. The first is Chief Chris Beswick of the Nahalem Bay Fire and Rescue uh, District and someone who has significant experience in responding to difficult and challenging international emergencies as part and lead of the uh, team Rubicon. We also have Lee Hiltonbrand, a Manzanita resident who has taken a significant leadership role in developing proof of concept testing of potential resources we will need in a long-term strategy or mass care. Both Chris and Lee are advisors only. The responsibility to respond and support firmly rests with the city of Manzanita. First, as it relates to the new city hall, we will look at what an emergency operations center should look like, how it would function, where it should be. The EOC is essentially a resource for the response function. Then Lee will take us through what we need for mass care strategy the role of the city, the resources available to the city in developing the strategy, and the understanding that mass care is huge. It's, it is uh, really a journey. It is not a quick fix. Our goal is that we understand the concepts of these two topics and how they will ultimately affect what we include or don't include in our new city hall. So with that, I'm gonna pass the baton to Chief Beswick. And if you could talk a little bit about response, about an emergency operations center and about what your role is in uh, a response in the city of Manzanita. Uh, 